and welcome to Classics Confidential. I'm at Roehampton uh, University on its beautiful campus and with me is Marta Garcia. Uh, welcome, Marta. Thank you. Lovely to have you. Lovely to have you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, tell us a little bit about your work for um, a network to which you belong, uh, the Imaginus. Yeah, Imaginus project. Well, this is this is indeed a, a, an international network dealing with uh, the reception of antiquity in the visual and performing arts. It started back in 2005, <laughs> and so it's now <laughs> something like nine years, which is uh, incredible. So the uh, the purpose of that project, and it's something that uh, that we very very consequently have kept, is that this is a network composed by different universities and colleagues of different countries. So at the moment we have eight of them and we are hoping to increase it. And uh, what we do, basically one of our main um, um, activities is to organize every two or three years a conference on a particular topic across the ages. Mm. Uh, for instance, we have Seduction and Power in Bristol Ooh, in 2010, exciting. Magic and the Supernatural in Mines in 2012. Wow. And tell us about the new Oh one. yeah, okay. <laughs> so the new conference will take place in Faro in Algarve Beautiful. in October of this year. The topic is the Mediterranean Sea, which is a, a sort of paradox because obviously <laughs> Algarve is not in the Mediterranean, but we consider that this is in a sort of uh, Mediterranean milieu, because even Heracles uh, managed to <laughs> to cross <laughs> the uh, the columns there in Gibraltar and and so on. So it's part of, of that. And one of the um, aims of this project and of Imaginus is always to uh, have a, a very close collaboration with artists, authors that obviously don't work in academia, but that you know uh, have a close relationship with us. We have collaborated with theatre playwriters with uh, with uh, comic uh, artists and, uh, and on this occasion we will collaborate with uh, graffiti artists from the town of Oyao wow. who are going to create a work during, uh, during so from now to the uh, to October when we will be holding the uh, the conference they will crea create a, a work inspired in the ancient mediterranean wow, on the and on the walls of of the of the so streets. will it be a type of fresco mural yes wow it will be a mural that that we will visit for the first time with the with the uh, participants mm -hmm. of the conference so wow. that's the idea so it's, it's about classics uh, <laughs> having a, a real impact isn't it and transforming yeah yeah the, the we actually didn't us. think about that we just uh, think about that being really a very exciting thing to do uh, and something real yes. uh, and, and to involve people to involve people from, like from really yeah. because this is also very uh, so it, it, it inspires us uh, to go further to, to, to try also paths that haven't been uh, used before or just you know to, to, to know uh, to meet new people the other thing about about Imaginus is, is that international frame that mm. we really try also to to integrate colleagues and whoever would like to participate, also from Eastern Europe, from, from outside Europe also. There is another thing which is important with this sort of projects, and we talked about that before, is uh, it is very important that we enjoy them mm. also in very difficult times. Mm. In times where we don't have money, mm. we don't have sometimes possibilities mm. to, to, to really create big things, but still we love what we do. And, and that's why I have always insisted on, on this. Now, above all, we need to love and have the passion. Yeah. And, and, and well, we that's what carries us forward, <laughs> isn't exactly, it? Exactly. Uh, and, and also, I think sometimes in times of austerity like we are um, in today, we just have to be a bit more creative um, in, in, in how we approach uh, what we do and it, how we publicize ourselves. And you know, why classics still matters yeah, today. That's true. Uh, we need ideas from outside our feel that mm. we tend to think it's very close and it's not to improve ourselves. Yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> this is what the reception of antiquity is, is all about, it is, isn't it? it? Is. Um, <laughs> okay. oh, wonderful, thank you so much Martin. Thank for you Anastasia, to you're really nice. <laughs>